Man, can you believe it? So you won the Amstel Gold Race? Yeah, I mean, I knew I had good legs and uh, I knew I had to ride a smart race as well to finish second today. And yeah, that's that's what I did and it, it paid off for me in the end. But this morning you thought you could do the podium on the, of the Amstel after what you shown on the Brabant Pale? Yeah, I think, I think I was quietly confident with... Uh, I, I rode a very aggressive race at Brabant and I knew uh, with, with a few bigger names here I, I'd get the luxury of... Uh, Maybe missing a few turns, which is what I did, and uh, played to my advantage in the end. That means that you will be classics. You will come back to win. <laughs> uh, I mean, you will target in the future uh, as your key point of the, the spring. Uh, maybe we'll we'll see. You know, uh, yeah. I mean, it's something that definitely suits me. But uh, yeah, the the wet rainy days as well is something I also like. And just tell us a bit how it was uh, when you were with Pogacar there at the front. How was it in your head at this moment uh, and in the legs too? How was it? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's pretty surreal. You know, you're racing with uh, a couple of the best riders in the world. And uh, yeah, when you're able to follow them, you're like, oh, yeah, the legs must be good today, you know. And uh, yeah, and then when when we dropped, dropped Tom as well, it was, uh, yeah, it was pretty, pretty surreal moment. From the moment you were with Pogacar? You knew the victory was out of reach. How you thought? Maybe we never know. Yeah, the when the, uh, the the gap came down when I attacked a little bit, but uh, yeah, he, he was clearly holding something in reserve. So uh, yeah, it, but it was it was nice all the same. You do flesh and the edge? Okay? Yeah, flesh and the edge as well. I guess with big hopes. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Eh? <laughs> Thank you very much. Well done. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.